Hi, my name is Randy from Teach It With Class. I'm joining up with some of my blogging friends at the Primary Chalkboard to host a YouTube party. We're featuring teacher tips for back to school in our videos and offering you a chance to enter into our back to school giveaway. You can win a $100 Teachers Pay Teachers gift card. You can win a $100 Amazon gift card or a Michael Kors bag. All you need to do to enter is watch the videos and find the secret word. I'll give you my secret word at the end of my back to school tip. Today I'm going to show you some storage options for your crayons in your classroom. You can use these for tables or desks, it doesn't matter. There's two options that I have. The first one is this one. It's a soap box for travel. I like this one in particular because it has a lid that is attached to it. An entire box of crayons, so the 24 count Crayola crayons will fit into one of the soap boxes. The other box that I like to use is this container. It's a 9 ounce container that you can find at Target and a box of 24 count crayons will also fit into this container. in, give it a shake, snap the lid on, and you have another option for crayon storage. I like both containers because you can write on them with a sharpie or you can put a mailing label on the side and the children enjoy using these because both containers have lids so they can put their crayons that they're using inside the lid on the table and they won't roll away. So if you're doing an activity where you need a red crayon, a blue crayon, and a green crayon, the students will often Pull those crayons out and lay them right here in the grooves and your crayons don't move away. I hope you enjoyed my tip today. My secret word for your entry for the giveaway is coffee because what teacher doesn't need coffee to get through the day. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll go watch more back to school videos on our collaborative blog, The Primary Chalkboard. Have a